Hi, I'm Shirley Liao. What really provides a boost to Facebook marketing is the possibility of viral marketing, which means people who are excited about what you have to over talk to each other and get others involved. Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, says that in the last hundred years, the way to advertise was to get into the mass media and uh, push out your content. In the next hundred years, he says, information wouldn't be just pushed out to people. It will be shared among the millions of connections people have. Advertising will change. You will need to get into these connections. Marketing on Facebook is a big topic, and we don't have the space here to cover the entire topic in great depth. If you want more details, check out a good book on Facebook marketing. Let's take a look. Sign up. The first step in working with Facebook is to sign up for your own account to so that go to www.facebook.com. A shine in figure. Sign up for Facebook. To sign up for an account, fill out the data in the box at right and then click the sign up button. Facebook asks you what kinds of probing questions about your job, sc uh, school, demographics, and so on. If you don't want to answer a question, don't. It's notable that Facebook users have very little compunction about sharing very private data. After you are set up, you can log in using your email and the password in the boxes as left in figure. Sign up for Facebook. Configuring your profile and home page. Login takes you to your home page. You can see mine in figure. My home page on Facebook. The home page displays much information, including the news feed. One of the most popular aspects of Facebook, the news feed lets you check that your friends are doing. Every time they do something, that news is posted to your news feed. This is the figure, my home page on Facebook. Your public page is your profile page, which you can see by clicking the profile link showing in figure, my home page on Facebook. Your profile page is visible to your friends, and you can see mine in figure, my profile page on Facebook. The mini feed is like new feed, a spell that it holds information about what you've been doing. The profile page also displays much of the information you get Facebook when you sign up. This is figure my profile page on Facebook. Facebook is heavily friend-oriented and you can message people asking if they will become your friend by clicking the send someone a message link under their photo in their profile not visible in my profile in the figure. My profile page on Facebook because I'm the one viewing it you can originally Organize your friends into friend list and message. Email them all at once, which is great for marketers. 
Facebook marketing involves all kinds of ins and outs. For example, you can set your status message by clicking the what are you doing right now link. Visible in figure, my profile page on Facebook, your status message appears whenever your image is displayed in other people's pages. As in figure, my friends on Facebook and can be a quick way to advertise you are not spamming about it. Creating a friends list. You can have up to 1,500 friends in a list, which is good for getting the word out. To make a new friend list, click the friends link in your profile and click the make a new list button at right in the friends page. Then enter the name of the new list. The next step is to add the friends you want in the new list. Here you can type the names of the friends you want to add. Or you can select multiple friends at once by using the select multiple friends link. As you add new friends to the list, they appear on the page. As you see in the figure, my friends on Facebook. Figure my friends on the Facebook. Now you can message everyone in a friend list by clicking the inbox link you see in the figure. My friends on Facebook. Then clicking the compose message tab as you see in figure messaging in Facebook. Messaging people on Facebook send email to their inbox. You can enter their name, a friend list to send your message to. As indicated by the promote you see in the figure, message in Facebook. Facebook needs to get credit card information from you before you can run a pool. Each answer costs 0 0.25 and there's a one dollar insert fee. To connect a credit card to Facebook, click the uh, account link that appears at the top of all your Facebook pages and enter your credit card information. Interestingly, the account page often doesn't come up in Internet Explorer. It may for you, but I use Firefox to access my account information. Running a pool. One of the good things about Facebook is that you can ask users what they want. It is a marketer researcher dream. To create a pool, go to the Facebook Business Solutions page http www.facebook.com business as uh, shown in figure the Facebook business solution page this is figure the Facebook business solution ba page this is a page you should become familiar with if you want to marketing on Facebook, you can see links here to all the major marketing techniques on Facebook. Right now, we are interested in creating a pool, so click the Facebook pools link and click the create a Facebook pool button in the page that appears. Opening the page you see in the figure, creating a Facebook pool. Pools employ uh, multiple choice questions, so enter your question and answers. You can also select the demographic you want to pull sex, 
age, location, and so on. When you are ready, click the continue button. Facebook shows you detail of your poll, click the continue button. Facebook will bring you to the results page of your poll. You can keep refreshing the page to see the results display as bar graphics. You also get a breakdown by age, sex, and the so forth grade for marketing research. Working with groups. One of the ways that Facebook members congregate and so can roll around your brand is on Facebook groups. There are thousands of groups on all kinds of interests. You can see the I Love Opera. Doesn't everyone? Groups page in figure. The I Love Opera. Group page top half. Groups include all kinds of ways for members to communicate with each other, such as a discussion board, which appears in figure. The I Love Opera group page bottom half for the Love Opera group. You can join a group or create your own group by clicking the groups link I left in any of your Facebook pages. Opening your groups page as shown in figure, a group page. You can browse through your existing groups by clicking the browse groups link. Search for a group by entering a search term in the search box or create your own group by clicking the create a new group button which opens the page you see in figure creating a group. Note the network box in figure creating a group. Facebook has set up hundreds of networks and they are sort of like the tribe you belong to on Facebook. By default, you are added to your geographic areas network when you give your graduate data in creating your account. They are networks by geographic area by school, including high schools, and by employer, you can see friend pages of others in your network, as well as other data that is hidden from people not in the same network. Creating a group for your brand is easy, just fill in the friend and click the click group button. You can see a new group that I create as a demo. Beach bomb rentals in the figure, a new group. You can even create your own network on Facebook, which would be great for a marketing purpose. If you could really do it, I follow the official procedures for creating a new network about eight months ago and never heard back from Facebook on it. I get the impression they create new networks only really. Creating a page. Profile pages and uh, friends are okay for a small business, but what about larger business or rock stars? A big time CEO might not want to be bothered with dozens of requests in his inbox to become his Facebook friend every day. I hear that Bill Gates used to get something like 700 such a requests a day. If Facebook provides and the friends are for individual 
your people and the very small business. What do larger business do? They create a Facebook page. Pages are designed for business and the star's average users cannot become a friend of a page. They become a fan instead. Fans can follow along with what's happening and they can post to a page's discussion board if you allow it. But not more than that. They don't have the same previous as friends to message you, for example. However, as a page owner, you can message your fans on message. To get started with pages, go to http www.facebook.com pages as you see in the figure looking at Facebook pages. Here you can search for pages by entering search terms and can browse pages by type. For an example of a page, take a look at the Royal Opera House page showing figure. The Royal Opera House page want to become a fan of the Royal Opera House. Just click the become a fan link you see at upright, which is present on all pages that allows fans. Here's an interesting note that shows Facebook span status. People used to be able to access network pages for their network, sort of like a group page for their network. Spammers took advantage of network pages to spam them outrageously with posts and the discussion board entries, with the result that Facebook just recently removed all network pages. Users can also share their favorite pages with their friends and uh, Villa, Vero marketing. Okay, that's how pages look and work in overview. How can you create a page for your own business? To create a new Facebook page, you can go to http www.facebook.com <coughs> pages create php or simply click the create a page for your business link at the bottom of any existing Facebook page, such as the Royal Opera House page. Doing so brings you to the creation page you see in figure, creating a Facebook page. Enter the information to create your new page. Click the Create Page button and follow the directions. Among other things, you will specify the administrators you want for the page who are the people allowed to make changes to the page. If you are the creator or an administrator of a page, you will see a edit link, which re regular user won't see next to all sections of the page. And that's how to create your own Facebook page. For example, you can see a demonstration Facebook page I made for middle rich townhouses in figure, a new Facebook page. Creating an AD, as with many other sites, you can advertise on Facebook with clickable edits that display text and uh, graphics. You can see an uh, example AD in figure. My home page on Facebook with the text speed up or PC. Ads like that 
one can appear in a page or so-called social edits can appear embedded in someone's news feed where they get a lot of more attention. If Facebook is uh, able to match your social ads keywords with what's going on in someone's news feed, it will display your ad right in the news feed along with news items about the user's friends. Starting an AD is simple and uh, Facebook is pushing them. So you can find links to the process all over the place. The most permanent such link is the advertising link at the bottom of every login. Facebook page, that is every Facebook page that you browse after you have login. Clicking that the link displays the page you see shown in figure, the Facebook ADS page. This is the Facebook AD page. HTTP www.facebook.com ADS. You see in the figure, the Facebook AD page and is pushes social edits and Facebook pages. To create a new AD, click either the Get Started button or the Create a Social AD link at the bottom of the page. Not visible in figure. The Facebook AD is page which takes you to the page shown in figure, getting started. If you are advertising a landing page, enter the URL and click continue. Bring up the page you see in the figure, choosing an audience. Fill in the information request in the second page and click continue, bringing up the third page uh, shown in figure creating the AD. Enter the text and upload images in this page and then click continue. Bring up the budget page you see in figure, setting the budget, fill in your price information. Review your ID and your payment information in the next page and click place order to start your ID. Creating an ID like this is an ID link to your left navigation menu of links or an ID and uh, pages link if you are already have Facebook pages, clicking that link opens your AD campaign summarize, which you can see in figure. Monitoring an AD for a sample AD for a middle ridge townhouse here. You can see all the standard data that you saw on Yahoo or Google. The number of clicks you have received the number of views, the click-through ratio, and so on. You can also post your campaign by selecting posts from the drop-down list at top. And know that if Facebook thinks you, you are not spending enough on your AD, you will see a red and a pink box urging you to spend more on this page. One of the good things about Facebook ADs is that you can target specific demographic by age, gender, location, and so on. And that can be great, but if you are looking for people over the page of 30, they have few and far between on Facebook. Using Facebook applications, one of the most popular aspects of Facebook and one of the best for marketers is Facebook application. 
Applications are embeddable into user profile page and run there in their own session. For example, you could have an application that lets you display your varied videos or music, play games, draw on people's pages, and so on. Some companies have commissioned their own games, which became very popular, spreading the word about those companies in a dynamic way. You can see a few representative applications in a Facebook profile in figure. Facebook applications, the Facebook top friends and the snowboard challenge sessions are all applications. Users can browse the applications that are available by clicking the application link at the top of their navigation menu on the left in any login page, then choosing the Browse More Application link. Opening the application director you see in figure browsing applications. Click the name if any application to see the applications page and then add the application to your profile with the add application link in that page. Unless you are a pro programmer, I don't recommend creating your application from scratch. I've discussed the process and the created Facebook applications in other books, and it takes some effort. On the other hand, one of the ways that application developers can make money is to allow their applications to display edits. And here are a few and network that will let you advice in many Facebook applications. For example, social media, www.socialmedia.com. RockU, www.rockyou.com. If nothing will do but creating your own Facebook application, other companies will develop Facebook applications for from scratch, and uh, usually prices are quite reasonable. Art and Logic, www.artlogic.com. Notice Technologies, www.noticetechnologies.com. www.invokemedia.com Facebook and uh, social network application developers Pronounces Group www.pronouncesgroup.com Category Facebook Service Note, however, that tens of thousands of Facebook applications are out there, all jostling for a space. To get an appreciable number of users, yours have to be something special. But if yours is a hit, there's nothing like it as far as marketing on Facebook goes. And uh, that's it for our overview of Facebook marketing. As I said at the beginning of the chapter, we don't have the space here to go into great depths. And we haven't even touched on some topics like Facebook events, tied to a specific data and a place you can real people run. Facebook become a controversial program to let you track 
your friends' actions in your news feed on site that are off uh, Facebook, such as uh, Amazon or other commercial sites, including yours, and the Facebook marketplace, something like graduates for uh, Facebook users.